very warm welcome. Grüezi miteinander, as the Swiss people say, from Lucerne, Switzerland. From the Lake Lucerne, I'm Alexander Linz, Head of Content of WatchAdvisor.com and I am in the Panerai of Higine Panerai Boutique of Embassy. Embassy is so kind to share some moments with us today. They are giving us the possibility to film some diving watches. You will also see a Panerai Carbotech watch, but not only the Panerai watch. And uh, we are going to present you some diving watches so that you can choose. And if you are clever and smart, you watch the video until the end, because at the end of the video, you can see a QR code. You will, we will screen a QR code and use this QR code. If you come to Embassy in Lucerne, show them the QR code and uh, Embassy will surprise you with a little gift. It's a very sweet gift. It's about chocolate. So you will dive literally into chocolate. The next five watches we are going to talk about are diving watches. And uh, the five watches that are on the tray in front of me are in a price range in between 2,000 and about 16,800 Swiss francs. And what is very particular with them is that these diving watches are not just functional diving watches, but also gorgeous looking timepieces. Why? Because they are done in the way as they were done when they were born. So we are talking almost about uh, uh, replicas or watches that look as their originals when they were born in the 60s and in, in the 50s. Um, from left to right or right to left, we have the Longines Legend Diver, we have the Blancpain uh, 50 Fathoms Batiscaf, that's the watch that takes the look of the first Batiscaf Blancpain did in the past. We have the Breitling Super Ocean, the legendary Jeger Le Cult or Jäger Le Cult Polaris, and we have a Panerai Submersible in a special carbon with a special carbon dial. So let's have a closer look and uh, let me uh, give you some details about the watches that you see here in, on the tray. This is the Longines Legion Diver, a watch um, that was originally uh, manufactured in the 60s and is now being uh, a part of the uh, diving watch collection of uh, Longines and uh, what is particular uh, with that watch is that it has an inner turning basal. So the basal you use for diving is secured by a crown, by an own crown here, the position of two o'clock and if you unwind it and then you see you can turn the crown, you can turn the basal. Probably if you wish when you use the watch for diving set the moment when you entered the water and um, then you can be sure that you will have the accurate um, indication of the moment when you enter the water to make your diving, your dive a safe dive. It's an automatic watch done by Longines, um, very much in the vintage look. Also when you go to the back there is this, there is a diver on the back and you have indicated here legend diver. Longines Legend Diver. Very nice timepiece and uh, also very affordable timepiece. We're talking about 2000 Swiss francs here and what you really get is value for money, real value for money. Vintage is a big theme also with diving watches. We just saw the Longines Legend Diver. Also with Blancpain, um, they presented this year in Basel at Basel World the first edition uh, remake of the first edition of their Batiscaf uh, 50 Fathoms Batiscaf watch with that typical color of the dial, uh, brown dial and um, it's still, we have to be honest, that's still a prototype it's indicated here prototype number 10 but we were lucky enough in cooperation with Embassy to get the watch so we were able to show it to you it's a watch that will come on the markets in the next weeks and, um, and it's um, watch that uh, reflects the style of the 60s when the watch initially was presented to the public and um, in my eyes it's a fantastic timepiece since you don't expect both um, uh, you don't expect uh, the watch to be both uh, on the one hand side the remake of the look of the 60s and the other hand the, um, the body scarf as you as you know it and, and a very uh, reliable diving watch um, so it's a two-in-one 
looks gorgeous, has a date and day indication that is, as you can see, pulled out very much on the dial so you really see it and it's it was pretty difficult for or it's, it's challenging let's say challenging for Blancpain to realize it that you have it decentralized and really fit here the position of three o'clock when we're talking about vintage look also the super ocean from Breitling definitely reflects that vintage look and there's a second thing you have to mention uh, Breitling is now playing very much with steel and gold and this looks very very good I am honest I was not I am not a big fan of the mixture of gold and steel but if you look at this uh, execution of uh, Breitling with the super ocean here I have to admit it looks really sexy it's the way of implementing a little bit of luxury together with the decent cool material of steel both makes it a very nice and very good looking diving watch um, also particular on this uh, model of Breitling is the fact that they are using a movement coming from Tudor. Um, Breitling and Tudor have entered a partnership where they both help each other with uh, movements. So Breitling is delivering the chronograph movement B01 um, to Tudor and they use it in their watches. And on the other hand side, Breitling is getting uh, the automatic Tudor movement that they can use uh, in their um, diving watches. Very nice timepiece, the uh, Breitling Super Ocean. We continue in the vintage look. We have a watch that is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year, the Memovox Polaris. There is an entire collection, Jäger Le Cult or Jäger Le Cult, if you don't pronounce it in a French way. They did an entire collection around the Polaris. Um, uh, it's a fantastic collection. You have entry price levels that are very attractive and then you have on top, let's say, the flagship of that collection is the Memovox Polaris. It's an alarm watch, means that you have an alarm, a mechanical alarm. I will make it sound just in a few seconds. And it, as already mentioned before with the uh, a Longines Legend Diver, also the uh, Memovox Polaris features an inner turning basal so you can set the entry time when you go diving with an inner turning basal and uh, there is no basal on the outside. Um, when you go and see the watch from this uh, angle you will see that uh, the back is pretty big or pretty uh, uh, different to uh, a normal construction. This is due to the fact that uh, um, this is kind of a light, little loudspeaker that will amplify the sound of the alarm that I am now trying to make sound. Let's see. You can set the alarm in a precision up to 5 to 10 minutes on the scale inside and it will ring some 30 seconds and it's also very easy to hear underwater. This is due to that special construction they did on the case here. And if you, when you see the watch, say, hey, Jesus Christ, I've seen that watch before. Yes, you did. In um, 10 years uh, before, for the 40th anniversary, uh, Jean-Jean Le Coult already did a limited edition of 768 pieces at the time. It was the same watch, almost the same watch, the Polaris. And this is a limited edition of 1000 pieces now. And you will have the, it's indicated here, one out of 1000. So it's a little more, um, uh, more pieces than the last time when they did the first time their limited edition but still it's the Memovo Polaris that legendary diving watch. This now is a huge diving watch. Still in the look of a vintage diver. Uh, it's a Panerai, it's the typical look of a Panerai. It's the Panerai Submersible waterproof up to 300 meters and uh, if you now think that since it's a 47 millimeter watch it's a heavy watch uh -uh. That's not. The watch is made um, out of forged carbon and uh, the way Panerai manufactures the carbon um, guarantees you that you will 
always get a kind of unique watch because it's impossible to manufacture the carbon case in a way that you have that every watch is equal to the other. So the Carbotech, as they call it at Panerai, the Carbotech case will always look differently. And when you buy such a watch, you will always have more or less your unique watch. Um, of course, the typical construction of the crown here with the lever, you open to unsecure and then you manipulate um, the either time setting or date setting and if you want to re, uh, reclose it and make sure that the watch is absolutely waterproof you close the lever fap, and it's closed and then you have guaranteed waterproofness. The basal only turns in one direction as it should be with a diving watch so when once you set your time when you enter and you start diving if you manipulate by coincidence the basal the time only gets less but not more so you are never in the in the position to have um, to get um, in the get problems since you have been wrongly calculating the amount of oxygen or, or, or um, air you have in your bottle in your bottles when you dive very nice timepiece looks good decent look even if it's a 47 millimeter watch and very very light astonishing light i hope you enjoyed my little presentation of those five diving watches uh, very much in the spirit of a vintage watch and once again uh, if i would have had the choice or if i would have the choice to take one of those i would take all of them of course but there's one little exception since i bought uh, already 10 years ago the uh, Le Cold polaris uh, limited edition at the time being where, uh, where I just told you where they uh, manufactured only 768 pieces so I would have uh, the choice I would have I would make a choice out one of one out of four and it will be difficult but anyhow I would take all of them I love them so thanks for watching thanks for seeing our choice of diving watches and uh, since it's a very very hot day today here in Switzerland uh, temperatures go up to 32 degrees maybe we are going to grab one of these diving watches and make a dip into the Lake Lucerne later anyhow thanks for watching and uh, if you see the QR code now be sure to present it at Embassy when you come to Lucerne and as I told you in the introduction they have a very sweet surprise for you thanks for watching and please be so kind to subscribe to our video to our YouTube channel and to like our videos <music>